Dr. Cortex, we haven't determined the cause of past failures. <laughs> Moron! This bandicoot will be my general, and he will lead my Cortex commandos to world domination. This time, I shall reign triumphant. <laughs> We are closer than ever before! Quickly! Into the Vortex! <laughs> Dr. Cortex! <laughs> the Vortex is not ready! We have no idea what it could do! <laughs> Failure again! <laughs> Capture him! Prepare the female bandicoot. Hmm. I want to make something beautiful in my image and in my likeness. Hang on. I need to grab a little bit of dust from the beautiful ground so they can stand on this holy ground that I've created. Hmm. All right, what's next? I got it. They need legs to stand on so they can stand on top of the enemies that try to knock them down like the serpent that tried to knock me off the throne. All right. Probably next, I can put a body on them so they can put my armor on them to make their spirits strong within. And next, I can create arms for, for them so they can fight off the rules in the darkness of this world. Hmm. All right, all right. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. I got it. I will give them ears. So they can hear me when I call them and encourage them. Yeah, that's it. Okay, then I could give them eyes so they can see me and the beauty of this world more than the evil that roams the earth. Hmm. All right, that's good. I like that. And I can also give them a nose. Not to be nosy though, but so they can smell the fruits that I've created on that one tree. <laughs> All right, this was great. This was good. But one more thing needs to be added. I'll give them a mouth so they can give all the glory and all the honor and all the praise to me. I will call them my own children. And I will love them and never leave them like some of the fathers and mothers in their lives. But I forgive them anyway. Out of my creation, you are my child of God. And, and my child, I've got my paintbrush and create a masterpiece this day. <laughs> yes, I create a masterpiece this day. My masterpiece is you.